Hello, today we're going to be doing the Night Waves training grounds, and um, it's a mini quest that uh, you could do after completing the quest King's Ransom. And what it does is it allows you to use um, Pieti and um, Shiv Rally, or whatever the heck the name is. Um, so, yeah, it's a good thing to uh, do, and also after completing it, I'm pretty sure you get 20k XP and hit points, uh, strength. Attack, range, mage, I don't know about hit, uh, prayer. That's just a guess, but I know you get 20k XP and a few stats, which is awesome. And yeah, you get to use these uh, prayers, which is good. So um, today I'm going to be going over the food you want to use and the items you uh, could use. So I'm going to be using um, this armor because um, I recommend you have high defense bonus uh, when doing it because it should be really useful. Considering that uh, some of the guys have uh, already defense and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you don't have what I have right here, you could um, substitute the Legends Cape which gives 11 um, in defense bonus right there and I think attack, I'm not too sure. But if you don't have that, substitute it for an Obsidian Cape and use a ring plate body and uh, legs. Um, if you don't have Borrow's Gloves, use a Combat Bracelet or you can use um, any other gloves from Recipe for Disaster. You can use climbing boots here if you want, or Addy and all that, but I just recommend some of the stuff that I was saying. Um, for this shield, if you don't have it, buy a ring cut. I'm pretty sure it's got more defense bonuses than uh, the shield as it is, but I'm just using it for the strength bonus too. Um, if you want, you can use a torso for extra strength. I personally won't be. And you can also use a defender for extra attack bonus, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to be losing defense bonus if I do that. Um, now the armor, I mean the weapons that you will need is you need weapons for slash, crush, and stab. So I'm using the whip for um, uh, slash bonuses. And I'm going to be using the skimmy for um, stab. Or I might be using the dragon halberd which is really useful because um, I heard you can uh, save spot it kind of around the dummies. So do that if needed. So yeah, you can use stab which is actually a really good weapon. Um, Dragon Dagger, I recommend it if you got poison on it, because it's always good to uh, poison them, which makes it easier. But, um, you can, like, poison it, and then wait a few minutes until it's, like, dead, or, like, ten minutes or whatever, because, um, there is time limits in there, like, five minutes, I think, per, um, wave. So, yeah, you can't do that, but, um, use this, because you can also use Stab if you want, so, um, that's just my recommendations, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get to this place. I also forgot to um, mention the food that you should use. Um, if you don't have sharks, they're only 450 each um, as of uh, April 14th. So uh, do that if needed. If not, you can um, go to the Warriors Guild and um, you can buy these potatoes with cheese that heal 16 hit points. And um, they're about 45 GP each, I think. So it's worth it, but you need to be able to enter that area. Um, if not, you can use lobster, but I don't recommend it. If you're like low combat, I'd use uh, sharks. Like I don't really have that low of combat, but I'm using it just to be safe. If you're at like 70 combat and you want to do on the combat thing, I wouldn't recommend using lobsters. Now, as of the potions, um, I'm using a super set because I want to be safe, obviously. But if you don't have that, use this uh, normal strength attack and defense potion. Um, and if you don't have super restores, use stat restore potions, which are a lot cheaper. Um, now these guys do drain your stats, so that's one thing you gotta look out for, that's why I'm using all these things. Um, you can't use prayer in this in the game either, so don't bother using that. And also for the armor, um, the last thing is, um, if you got Guthans armor, I recommend it highly because it heals you, so, um, it's really good for uh, substituting food for weapons if you really want to do that. So um, that's just completely up to you guys. So I'm just going to move on to how to get there now. Alright, so here's how to get there. If you're at the bank, just go the way I'm going. Or if you teleport to Camelot, which should be right here, um, then you can just enter this building. It's as simple as that, pretty much. You need a uh, 45 magic to teleport to Camelot, but you can walk there if needed. So just open this large door, enter this room right here, which is like west of the castle. 
So this is a safe mini game. So if you die, you don't lose your items. But um, if you're like low on food and you want to leave, don't leave when you have like five hit points left because your uh, stats don't restore at all. So I just recommend dying instead. Okay, I think if we just click open large door, it starts. Okay.
Okay, sweet. So now that I've beat it, we've uh, finished this minigame. It's a quick way to like um, get some XP. So as it says, you get 20k XP in your hit points, strength, attack, and defense skills. 